Hello and welcome to another video, Paul here. This video is one that I wasn't actually going to put on the channel for another couple of weeks. It's our flight home from uh, Orlando from our recent holiday. I was going to use it to bookend uh, all the other Florida videos that I'm putting on the channel. But given what's happened in this week with Thomas Cook and the fact that they've gone out of out of business, which is uh, a tragedy really, because they're a great airline and a great company, some lovely people working there. I thought I'd put this video on now. This is our flight back from Orlando with Thomas Cook in premium economy. Um, it, it was a great flight and very interesting as well, because just as we were about to take off from Orlando, uh, there was a call that came from the back of the aircraft to the cabin crew at the front. We were in row two, so we could see exactly what was going on. There was a, a call from the back of the plane up to the front of the plane and the cabin crew at the front of the plane after taking the call immediately jumped out of the seats and ran into the cockpit and this was just as we were turning onto the runway and uh, the consequence of that is that we never took off we sort of taxied along the runway a bit came round and uh, went back onto the taxiway the reasons for that are in the video but it was a great piece of uh, human performance human factors as you will by the cabin crew to be able to do that and to to put that challenge in uh, to the flight deck at that critical point of turning onto the runway it was um, it was a great piece of teamwork by the crew at uh, Thomas Cook. Uh, we had a chat about it afterwards, myself and the cabin crew, and also myself and the captain, and we had a good chat about it afterwards. And what a really nice crew they were, Captain Tom and everybody. I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you've got yourself sorted after what happened this week. Thanks for a great flight. Thanks to everybody at Thomas Cook. Here's the video. Hello, Paul here with another video. This time I'm at Orlando International Airport flying to Manchester with Thomas Cook in premium economy. The flight out was pretty good, uh, apart from Manchester Airport, which is always terrible. So far, the experience at Orlando Airport is, has been fantastic. Really quick check-in, really quick through security, very well organised. They can really teach Manchester a thing or two. Anyway, we're here about three hours before our flight departs. Our uh, taxi came for us very, very early. Um, so we'll just sort of hang about here and wait for the plane to come in. All flights to the UK depart from Airside 4 at Orlando International. When you get off the tram from the main terminal building, as you turn around, you've got a spa, Auntie Anne's, um, pretzels, entertainment place. Then the access to gates 90 to 99. You walk down uh, that corridor there. There's a news agent. Stella News, a wine place, you've also got Bahama Breeze Island Grill and a big seating area right in the middle here. You've got an Outback Steakhouse just over there, there's a Burger King down there, gates 80 to 89 uh, down this way and that's where the Virgin British Airways and Thomas Cook all leave from gates 80 to 89. Uh, coming further around past the steakhouse There is the Delta Gates, which is 70 to 79. There's a Nathan's hot dog place And of course a Starbucks There's always a Starbucks There's also a couple of little stalls in the uh, open area which uh, sell like jewelry and They bags and more jewelry and there's another one over there that sells Cigars! Cigars and sweets. Next to where you go through the gates for 80 to 89, where most of the British flights leave from, is the main duty-free store for this location. And it's, uh, well, it's a pretty standard duty-free store, actually. It's quite small, but it's got your usual selection of perfumes, aftershaves, booze, and cigarettes. It's a nice bottle of Louis the Thirteenth there. Only $3,400. Nice. I'm just looking for things that I know the price of, like Glen Morangi. $50, $50 in the duty free shop, which works out at £41.30 at uh, exchange rate of today. For, so 41 quid for a bottle of Glen, Glen Morangi, which you can pick up in Asda for about 35 The exchange rate isn't helping. Jack Daniels, $31 is about 25 quid, which is roughly what it is at home. So. The exchange rate is not helping at the moment. I've just checked out a pair of headphones in the um, entertainment shop. I just picked one at random. It's like a Sony, Sony noise cancelling headphones. Just picked them at random. There's $60 in there, which works out at today's exchange rate at £50. 
So um, I looked them up on Amazon and they're 32.99 on Amazon. So the duty free here is not as good price wise as it might appear to be. So uh, if you're shopping for duty free in Orlando, make sure you've got your phone with you and you check the UK prices. I'll give up on the duty free, everything's cheaper in Asda. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna go back and sit down and make sure I don't trip any over any small children. I was going wait it out. Only uh, three hours till the flight leaves. Seats with USB power. Is it real? Or is it Prosecco? Or Carver? It tastes like Carver. This tastes like orange juice. Oh.
Arabs on the plane. They thought they went in the correct configuration. So one of the so the captain or the first officer, I don't know which one it was, has went back and had a look and everything's fine. It's because we're taking off on a slightly different configuration than normal, but it's perfectly fine. So we're now back in the queue for takeoff. Interesting looking free freebie on this flight. It's, um, it's a reusable coffee cup. And I'll just take it out of the bag. So it's a really good solid plastic coffee mug in Thomas Cook branding with a wall, just like a wall thermal insulating thing. And I imagine it'll have the same stuff inside as you get. Yeah, headphones, socks, eye mask, and toothbrush. Super. Yeah. Hey, we got the choice tonight was chicken or chicken. So I went for the chicken. It says chicken breast Carolina barbecue. Nice bread roll. We got crackers, cheese and grapes, and a cake. Well, it's definitely not James Martin, um, but we'll try it. Probably one of the tastiest day craft meals I've ever had. A lot of flavour in it, like a bar chicken in a barbecue sauce. A bit of spice to it. Some lovely mashed potatoes and broccoli. It didn't look the best, but actually, it was very, very nice. Pudding is a, a bit of cake, which I probably shouldn't have picked up with my hands. I think I should have used a spoon. This is breakfast. 
breakfast. Um, yogurt, muffin, orange juice, coffee. And uh, there was a, a hot pan or chocolate, but I've ate that. So that's it, back at Manchester, back at the car. Uh, arrival experience in Manchester has to be said is uh, a lot better than the departures. However, the queue for the lifts to get to the car park was shocking. <laughs> but anyway, it is Terminal 1 and they are demolishing it soon. So fingers crossed the new, uh, the new terminal, the building over at Terminal 2, uh, the work they're doing there will make the whole process a lot better. But that is it for now, that'll do. Um, see you next time. Bye-bye.